it was about. He wanted to tell the stories and save history so we could all learn from it. I knew he was gonna tell stories from a perspective that you can't find anywhere. Just think of who he covered and who he talked to. Martin Luther King Jr., Elvis Presley. Mary was just telling me a story about how he spoke to William Faulkner. <laughs> U.S. presidents, governors. Heck, he even did a story last year about the governor's haircut. <laughs> it's pretty good. Bert, but that's a good, another good example. Bert was as good at telling a story as anybody that you'd ever, you've ever met. It was the little stories that made him a legend. It was his charm and his wit that everybody really loved. His willingness to adapt made him, in my opinion, an unpo unstoppable force of nature. I don't know if you guys are going to kill me over this or not, but one of the biggest internet stories that we've ever had on WAPT.com, you may know where I'm going with this, was when Bert took that uncomfortable voice to the radio station to do the Nene song on Y101. Let's just say he was a little bit skeptical when we first asked him if he wanted to do that. But he did it, because he's adaptable. And he wanted to be a part of what people are part of. And he told me later, save one story about the governor, the, the former governor Fordyce. That was the most feedback he'd ever gotten over anything he's ever done in the TV news business. But that was Bert, ready every day. And he loved what he did, so much so in, until his last days, when I did go to the hospital and sat with he and Mary, he was talking about coming back to tell more stories. I'll miss him, and I think we all will. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, not all of his uh, experiences with governors were difficult. <laughs> I see former Governor Musk over here, welcome, um, but had great relationships, and particularly great relationship with you, Governor, knowing you're here, particularly because you share the same uh, beautician, right? Welcome. Mary, family, thank you for giving me a few moments to talk about my friend. Case. Forty years ago, a young deputy sheriff had just come on to the Hines County Sheriff's Department, and a murder case had occurred off of Delta Drive, now Martin Luther King Drive. I received a call from dispatch, and they said they'd like to have me interviewed by a reporter. Well, I had never been interviewed by a reporter, so I asked, did I have to? The word came back, yes, you did, and oh, by the way, it's Burt Case. You can imagine a young 22, 23-year-old reporter meeting Burt Case. Now, that was the first interview that I ever gave, the, probably the one that was uh, the worst. But Burt Case that day, as he did every day that I talked to him for the next 40 years in some public life capacity, always knew exactly what he wanted to ask you and didn't hesitate in doing so. We were friends. We knew each other all those years, but when that microphone was held to your face and when that light came on and the producer said, we're ready, Burt Case was going to ask you the question he expected you to know the answer to. And he made me a better person by doing so, a better public official, by holding you accountable. There was no softness in it. There was, there was no abruptness to the point where you thought it was unfair. You knew exactly what you had gotten yourself into. Burt Case was a professional, and he expected you to be a professional in your answer. When I went to the hospital to visit him, first at St. Dominic's and later at the Veterans, I could tell just how Desperate times were, how difficult this was for him. This was a man who loved to talk, who verbalized for all of Mississippi, the history of the day, the concerns that every citizen might have about weather or a homicide. 
what was happening next in their lives. Everyone was listening to the voice of Burke Case. And there he was, unable to verbalize his questions and thoughts. The last time we were there with Mary, as I was gripping his hand, about to leave, Bert raised up and with the biggest Bert Case smile looked at me as if, don't worry, I'll be back. He is back. And as he walked the streets of glory today, I could only imagine what he must be thinking. Where's Moses? <laughs> I've got a few questions for him. When you parted that water, imagine what interviews are taking place on those golden streets today. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a great opportunity in our life to know and to interact with, to be friends with, great Burt Case. Those of us that hold public office aspire one day to do something worthy of our positions in life. Many just want to be remembered for what they've done, for doing the most good quite often. Bert Case will be remembered for generations hence for what he has done for us all, for opening the door to the truth, and honesty, and integrity, for holding public officials account accountable, for making us smile joyfully. As serious as Bert Case could be, he could never take himself seriously. Whether it was being the Grand Master at the Mile St. Patty's Day Parade and donning that costume of a leprechaun. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I would have done that. <laughs> or if you've seen that video of, of him fighting off that pit bull, there's just one moment as he looks back with satisfaction. <laughs> as if he wanted to say, you saw that, didn't you? <laughs> yes, Bert, we did. Yes, exactly, we knew. And Bert Case was one of the few reporters that could have convinced me to do a story about getting my hair cut. <laughs> really. But you didn't say no to Bert Case. As a matter of fact, if I happened to be at a location where I knew Bert was at, I would try to make my way to Bert Case to do the interview because I knew he would challenge me. I knew that evening on the news that we would be proud of the story because all of it had been covered in its truest form. What a professional. This man was one of us. Murray High School, 1957. Ole Miss served in the United States Air Force. Spent his life reporting and being a part of and helping create Mississippi as we know it, unashamed and unblemished. But if we did need to tell our story, it was Burt Case that we wanted to do that with. If we wanted to get out the news, it was Burt Case that we wanted to interview us. If we wanted to know what was happening, it was Burt Case that we were going to listen to. So today we celebrate a great life, a man who will be remembered for his body of work, his wonderful demeanor, his dedication to the business of being a journalist, the stories of his friends and family. We should be very fortunate to have had this opportunity with this great man. Now, as we look back, let us remember the best of times. I think Bert would want us to do that. And if one day you might hear upon the evening news the story of bad weather gathering, he will be there. The tragedy takes place in the family and the story needs to be told. Bert Case will be there as well. 
Someday you might see a Mustang convertible speeding down the road. <laughs> Bert Case will be there as well. He will be with us all in those times of joy and triumph and tragedy because that was the life and times of the great Bird Case. Thank you all very much for sharing your unique perspective. Appreciate it. There are many more people gathered with us that have a pretty unique perspective as well. Bill Miner, going way back to the first day you met um, Bert Case, 1963, November 22nd, you arrived in Jackson. <clears throat> greeted with the news, you came on the same plane and greeted with the news that President Kennedy had been assassinated, right? long history with him. Many more of you sharing that same, but thank you all very much. Thank you for sharing the gift of his life. He was an Air Force man indeed, and now we celebrate that reality.
Our brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church, confident that God hear, hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus. We turn now and offer him our prayers and petitions. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. In baptism, Bert received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. The family and friends of Bert seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our brother Bert. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in expectation of your son's coming. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all of those who are dedicated to bringing us the news. May they be prophetic in their pro proclamation of the stories. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all of our departed brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of rising again. May they experience eternal peace in the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of loving kindness, listen favorably to our prayers. Strengthen our belief that your son has risen from the dead and our hope that your servant Bert will also rise again. We ask this in Christ our Lord. And before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope that one day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which destroys all things, conquers death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Bert in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the many blessings which you bestowed on him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise for your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with the assurances of our faith until we all meet and are one with you and our brother Bert forever. We ask this in Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray as we uh, offer this.